Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to be getting into the reading today. Let's go ahead and jump straight in. Any information you need to book a reading from me will be listed below. Also, if you guys want to get a question answered, I go live every single day or every other day when I'm able to. Uh, and I do question readings where you guys can ask me a question for a small donation. So definitely subscribe to my emailing list if you want to get notified whenever I go virgos let's go ahead and see what's going on with you all right virgo sun moon rising and venus placements what's going on all right so we have the ten of cups and we also have the magician card okay so spirit is drawing attention to family spending more time with loved ones some of you guys have been so caught up in working and and having to take care of so many different um, responsibilities and whatnot, you haven't really had time to really enjoy yourself. So Spirit is drawing attention to you spending more time with loved ones, family, people that you deem as family. Um, this is going to uplift your energy. And I think that in the near future, you guys will actually even have that opportunity where either you're A, going to be taking that initiative and doing that on your own or like i said just opportunities present itself for you to be around your loved ones uh, also with this card something around children um when it comes to your relationship with the person you may have children with this may become a focal point over the next couple of weeks okay things may be starting to get a lot better between you two in terms of you guys trying to co-parent and work with each other. For some of you, it's beyond that. You could be trying to work on the relationship, but I do see just this energy of co-parenting. Hmm. This could also be like you guys finding out that you're going to have a grandchild or some of you guys are expecting with child. So that's something to look out for. Uh, but with the magician card right next to it, some of you guys could be manifesting something that's always been a desire for you in the next coming weeks. Now, this is very specific to you as a person. This could be you guys... Um, Manifesting the opportunity to go to a specific college or manifesting the opportunity to move to a certain area that you always want to live in. Um, it, it's very specific, but there's something here that you guys are going to be able to act on or in you merely taking action on it. You're going to manifest something that you've always wanted to manifest. Virgos, what else is going on? Oh my gosh. All right, so we have the Six of Cups as well as the Hermit card. So another card about children, um, nostalgia here as well. Okay, so with the Six of Cups, you could be seeing that uh, somebody who you were close to or are still close to could still be holding on to certain grudges. Like they keep going back to a particular situation you guys may have experienced with each other. And this could be vice versa. You could find yourself just having moments where you're kind of recounting certain things that someone puts you through, even in them coming back around or you guys still being cool. You could be kind of side eyeing them and wondering whether or not it is a smart idea to still have some sort of attachment to this particular individual. Okay. Another thing I'm seeing with this, some of you are just going to have like this realization in regards to your past that all you can really do is learn from it and move forward and you could even see how somebody was a learning lesson even though like at one point you may have felt like you were gonna die if you didn't be with this individual now you could be seeing it from a different perspective hmm also with the hermit card being here this is the card for Virgos, which is interesting that it's actually in this reading. But this is speaking to, now I will say this, for my Virgos who are more so like the homebody type, Spirit is saying that you will not get any opportunities in being caught up in just being a homebody. Spirit is saying you need to put yourself in the flow 
of your opportunities and not just think that those opportunities are just going to fall in your lap. Spirit needs a little bit of participation from you. Okay. Also for my Virgos, where it's more so the opposite, where you're just so caught up in the hustle and bustle of life and you don't even have personal time. It's time for you to set some time aside for you to at least be at peace with, with self or to kind of sort through your thoughts in a sense. Mm. Also, in the next couple of weeks, what I do see with this card, Virgos, you may find yourself just wanting to go into like this super... research mode in regards to something or you may find yourself even interested in something like completely new that it like knocks your socks off in terms of you just wanting to learn so much about it and with you wanting to learn so much about it you could even find yourself wanting to change your career path because of it this seems like a new interest or something nonetheless this could even be an old existing interest that comes back up and you find yourself wanting to get deep into learning it again. This could also mean for some of you who are single, you could be finding yourself like in a nostalgic state about someone you may have recently broken up with or have broken up with and was like the last person that you may have dated. You could find yourself like sitting in your own space and like just replaying memories replaying memories in a very unhealthy way so definitely make sure you're not using your free time or your idle time to think about the past and and, and whatnot because an idle mind is dangerous <laughs> all right let's put one more we have the eight of swords so yeah over the next couple of weeks spirit is saying do not let someone frustrate you you know exactly what to do with that particular situation is just getting out of this energy of focusing on things that you can't control and focus on what you can control. And then you'll be able to kind of move beyond this issue, the struggle that you guys could be going through mentally. Okay, I also see that somebody's really frustrated with you, especially if you did remove your energy from like making someone a priority like a love interest okay a friend somebody's frustrated maybe even the person you may have kids with let's see what the oracle cards have to say virgos what's coming through for my virgos all right so we have the flames of desire it says let them shine out in radiant light and shun dark path so this is making sure that you're tapping into a source of motivation. In moments where you find yourself out of it, you need to find something that personally motivates you that keeps you going, whether that's your child, whether that's you know your desire to be more spiritually in, in tune, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you need to remember why you're doing it. And that's gonna be a, a good way to keep motivating yourself, okay? Let's keep going. We have tear down the walls around your heart, give and receive security and warmth. So some of you are very defensive. You could be given off wounded energy as if like you've never healed from certain things. And look, it's no problem if you have like a gradual healing process. That's something that's normal. It's just making sure that you're not just so defensive and blocked off and in the process of wanting new love too, because it's going to be really, really hard to manifest that if you're unable to really be gentle with even yourself enough to let your guard down to to be gentle with someone else or to be vulnerable with someone else and the next part we have leave your usual so social circles behind seek out true companions 
So yes, this is surrounding yourself with people who are like-minded, people who uplift your energy. If you find yourself drained and out of it, when you talk to certain friends, you have friends that may tear you down or give you unsolicited advice, or even just you not existing in the same mental space that you may have in the past when meeting these friends, it's okay. It just may be time for you to connect with your soul tribe. So these are just some of the messages that I see. I hope that you took something from this reading. Of course, I'm doing same day readings until I fully get moved in. I might even make this a permanent thing because it helps me kind of keep my workload down. So if you get a reading from me and you want it in the same day, if you book before five o'clock, then you'll be able to get a reading. But this is what I see and I will talk to you in the next one.